relax and today I'm going to be showing you the trailer for my 10 foot down boat. Um, this trailer hitches to a old bicycle trailer which hitches to my bike. I'm going to be showing you my boat ramp procedures. Um, I'm going to show you launching the boat, a little bit of the boat in the water and what it's like. So here is me taking the back bungees off the guider, there's one on each side, and then that's the drain plug, I shove it in there nice and tight and flip it over, and then I take this rope with the thingamajig at the end, I click it in there, I just put the rope on the boat, and then I kind of just find where I want to push the boat back, and I, when I'm ready, I push it back really fast, which I'm about to do, here we go, and the boat, it gets moving, it floats off, and that rope, it pulls the boat up as I pull the trailer out. And so, that, I just take the rope off, put it in the boat, and here we are now on the boat. It's a fairly stable boat. Um, with just me on it, it'll probably go about 4.5 with me and Marshall. When he's in the very front, like on that front bench, you see, it, we've got it to I think three or excuse me, three miles per hour. The trolling motor is a Minkota 30 pound thrust. Thanks to the um, dude they gave it to me. There's Marshall. Thanks to him for holding the camera. And here is just a look at the side of the boat in the water. See all the plows. And now here is me putting the boat back on the trailer after a day of hanging out on the boat. Kind of get it to where I want it and then I set it down. Notice how I don't put it all the way back. I just kind of get it to the wheels. It's almost to the axle. I back it up till it's almost to the axle of the trailer. And then I pull the boat and I let it hit the guiders and I pull forward and it just lines the boat up perfectly with the trailer. Um, and then I can pick the trailer up and I can push it backwards a little, just like that. And the boat moves backwards and then I pull it when I'm ready and I push the trailer back and let the thing kind of come up. And then that is perfect. And then I kind of just pull the boat out. The rope does drag a bit, but it doesn't get tangled in anything since it's... Uh, I've got it pulled right. It takes a little getting used to to do all this, but after you figure it out, it's like you can get it just right on the trailer and off the trailer. And here's me on the road. In the next part of this video, I will show you the um, trailer itself, I will give you how long it is, the width, and kind of how I built it. I'll just explain all that. So yeah, we'll get right into that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that part about the boat and all that stuff. Now I'm going to show you the trailer kind of tell you how we made it so from front to back it's about seven and a half foot and from side to side it is about 27 inches the axle is some box tubing and we cut it to size and welded some bolts on the end that were the right width of the boat I mean of the excuse me of the wheels then we shove some cutter pins through, and you end up with that. And then we built PPs here around it. The guiders, it's just a T going down, and then a 90 coming up. And that's how I hook my bungees on. That, that's how I get the boat on in. Close the boat. Okay. Going to the very front, we have this little thing right here, and it has a threaded end, and it just goes in here screws into the wood of the dolly. Set it right 
up there. Then I can screw it in there. It's in there. Screw it as much as you want, more or less. And that is the boat trailer.